good vibers it is your girl Esther joy coming at you with another video it is so good to see you here today fam okay so today i'm really excited because we have a new moon in leo okay today is the 18th of august and i am super duper excited because i decided to do today's pick a card reading video dedicated to figuring out more about these beautiful energy of this new moon, how it's going to affect us and what we should know about it. So without further ado, good vibe fam, I want you to know that we're going to be looking at these two cards and I'm gonna give you guys a second to just breathe and tap into the cards energies so that you can find which card best suits you. And then we will hop into the reading, okay? I'm not even gonna waste any time, all right, with an intro or anything like that. But if you love love, light, joy, and peace, okay, you love spreading those vibrations to the, the trees, the bees, the planet, then know that you're in the right place, okay, fam? And take this time to just pat yourself on the back for being here <laughs> and allow yourself to choose whichever card that you are feeling more drawn to, okay? We have pile one and we have pile two. Wow, okay, so again, we have pile one and we have pile two. All right, so allow yourself to take as much time as you need. Pause if you need more time. And without further ado, we're gonna start with pile one. Pile two, your timestamps will be down below. Hello, beautiful, beautiful group one. How are you? Now fam, I'm really excited to see what we can infer from today's card, okay? Immediately, the question is really, what can we expect with this new moon energy? How can we use it to best help us during this time? And just really keeping an account that has been very fiery lately, okay? I'm being called to tell you guys, working with Red Jasper during this time, really great crystal, really good for grounding. And for you guys, there definitely seems to be a calling for grounding and security during this time. So, I'm looking at your card. You guys got the Emperor. This is another beautiful card I illustrated from um, my Major Arcana deck that I'm creating. And yes, so the Emperor is all about security, stability. He's a divine masculine and he has such intuitive leadership skills that really people lean, understand, and trust on him to guide them. And the Emperor is such a beautiful card, group one. Um, really, I'm getting that you guys have a big heart, but during this time, acting upon that heart is really good. Some people might be taking advantage of how generous and kind and loving your heart is, okay? So really getting grounded in your own self-worth will definitely help you. And of course, I'm sending the intention that this little Red Jasper is just sending some beautiful healing vibes your way. Oh, you right? So if you have any, bam, they're sent to you. Okay, so I really just wanna hop into your reading today though group one so without further ado i'm gonna grab a tarot because i really want to know how this new moon is just affecting all of us and what we can expect how you know what advice our guides have for us during this time how we can best spend our time to make the most of it okay so immediately i'm getting wow i'm getting the king of pentacles in reverse and i'm getting the eight of swords in reverse okay so before I go any further, let me just look at these cards. It's really interesting how they both hopped out in reverse there. So with the King of Pentacles, we'll start off first in reverse. There might be a feeling of you're not feeling very secure in the physical world. Um, you This might be due to I'm hearing there might be an indulgence. There might be something to do with addictions. Um, King of Pentacles, he's generally a very wealthy man that enjoys spending time in the finer things in life but there might be a calling at this time for moderation for you guys group one and with the eight of swords this 
is more of a mental blockage than anything. The king is not feeling stable. They're, they might be indulging too much, but this is what I'm hearing. You guys are walking out of this. The Eight of Swords is a really powerful card in reverse. It's almost showing as if the swords are dropping away or you are moving away from the swords. You can see that she's almost like looking underneath that blindfold and can see that the space for her to just walk forward is there. So there's definitely a calling for you to release yourself from any um, any blockages that have been holding you back. There was a two of rods, the back of deck energy, but I'm going to grab one more card for some advice before we move on. Some further clarification for group one, please. And I wanted to say that with the king of pentacles, uh, being in reverse that you just might not be finding like the physical reality to be as um, Satisfactory as it once was so, Yeah, so with the fool coming in reverse, there's definitely like a feeling of Okay, all right, okay, so beautiful beautiful all right, so let's look at what we got here So I just wanted to address I finished shuffling the world is a back of deck energy Okay, so um, there's a completion happening over here and it makes a lot of sense because you guys got the last card in the Major Arcana deck and you also got the first card in the Major Arcana deck. So there's a cycle that is ending um, and there's a cycle that's about to begin for you guys, okay? And this could be having to do with the physical. Um, if you're not really feeling feeling it, you know, you're not really having that zest for life. The physical things in your life aren't really giving you any kind of emotional or mental stimulation. And let me see how. And so let me just see. Sorry, I'm just recalibrating this. Okay. So now let me get a little bit more on topic for this new moon that we're having and how it can really help you, okay? Okay, so you guys get ready for some big shifts to take place, first of all. If you haven't really been feeling, if you've been feeling blocked, um, especially in your physical manifestation coming into play, I'm getting that you're gonna very soon see that you know it was all kind of more of a mental blockage a limiting belief that you held and you're going to be able to move forward so really reevaluating if you haven't had that zest for the physical world as much as you have really had in the past um because i am seeing with the fool that jumped out and the six of cups that you have been recollecting on the past you might have been thinking about past things that are coming into play now with the full moon if we're just talking in terms of energy um this card you know the six of cups is all about um nostalgia okay so there is a sense of whatever happened in the past those were the building blocks of your future with the fool though you're really moving on a clean slate and you with the world being the back of deck energy there are some powerful cycles that are ending for you guys those cycles have to do with your physical manifestation and the limiting beliefs that you had along with them definitely you might have just been trying to go towards your physical manifestation but nothing really seemed to be clicking for a little bit. I'm hearing that you're going to be walking out of that during this new moon. This is a very powerful time for you guys to get that mental clarity. See that you might have just had a little bit of learned helplessness or just stagnancy in general. And this is really gonna come from recollecting, maybe not even on the past, but certain past um, emotions might be brought up and that's going to help recharge you and fuel you so you can continue moving forward in your manifestation so the past is playing a really big role here for you guys to kind of show to you mentally where you've been kind of learned helpless okay where you have been blocking yourself my dog is sleeping in the 
corner, so I'm just trying to let him rest. Okay, so Look at these. It's really incredible. I just wanted to say that during this time, if you're feeling a little low on energy, definitely give yourself um, this time to rest and regenerate. You might not even feel like you have the time to rest. People in your past might start showing up more. Um, but I want you to know that this is your rest might just be mentally turning that stuff off. Okay, there's many different kinds of rests. So just finding a way that you can re-energize yourself and using the past, looking at the past, looking for patterns that might be repeating, especially, um, especially if it's just something that you don't usually think about in the past, something that you thought was really concrete that you thought couldn't change and you were building your manifestation maybe around that, I'm seeing that you're gonna be finding almost like a loophole out of that. And that's going to give you a boost of energy and really help you close whatever cycle was keeping you stagnant in your physical manifestation from coming into play. With It's just really incredible you're reading Having the Fool in the World. Um, yeah, I, I'm just seeing like their manifestation is coming. That was like a big message I just got. So you guys are going to be moving forward. Whatever blocks you were having mentally that were kind of holding you stagnant from your physical manifestation during this time of the new moon, just set the intentions. I would say even write down six things that you're grateful for that happened in your past that you were like during the time they happened. You just, um, you know, you would never think that they would be a good thing but I'm hearing for someone it's really important for you to acknowledge those past um, emotions that had come up because they're really going to help energize you and they're also going to help unveil whatever that limiting belief was that was holding you back from your manifestation um, yeah so let's go a little further I'm going to be putting out an overall deck message from my giant overall deck message uh, card. So let's see what we got here for group one. Can we get an overall deck message for group one? It's like five cards. Spirit, come on. Um, I'm really getting for some of you this also might just be about getting over an addiction as well um that could be for a select few but kind of seeing the mental side of this seeing why you may have turned to that side in the first place what was causing you to feel so dependent on this substance in the first place and really acknowledging what happened in the past to trigger you to go that way is really going to help you as you move forward and close that cycle Okay, so for you guys, it's all about renewing that energy because you are about to just enter a whole new cycle and whatever was keeping you stagnant, whatever was holding you back, you're going to see that it was mostly mental and you're going to be boosted to go forwards once you understand what was, what that past um, emotion and maybe trauma or hurt was that was holding you back, okay? So you guys got infinite clouds as your overall deck message. An infinite cloud says, above the bitter wind blows the clouds, creating shapes that change out loud. New possibilities spark the sky, setting fire to your wings, touching the sun way up high. Ooh, and you guys got sun and it's beautiful because the Leo um, energy with the sun as well. So there's definitely, you guys, sun gazing great time to do that moon gazing great time to do that really just looking at the sky great time to do that you guys are gonna have almost like this epiphany i'm getting that hey i'm not helpless this is not the end all be all i am an infinite being i don't have to just constrain myself to this one idea that was from the past um, so really, really beautiful, really beautiful, okay? Using fire, I'm hearing for some of you during this full moon is also going to be quite powerful. So if you like to set candles, um, really beautiful, um, yeah. 
yeah really set intention for big change okay and think about what do I want to change and why do I want to change it okay so now I'm going to grab I'm really feeling like pulling a couple more cards for you group uh, group one okay so we're going to just pull out a card from I have two decks here okay and I think I'll get one from both of them okay this is my I think my dream deck and this is my ancestor deck okay so all right I just just make a whole bunch of decks I will eventually sell them okay one of these days soon <laughs> okay once I get a good printer okay so you guys got angels angels okay so i'm hearing you guys got spirit guides looking out for you okay so angel says we find our love within ourselves and know you are peaceful true you open and take the love that you make sends you anew Ooh, okay and again anew so this this is tying really well with the fool and I'm seeing direct correlation with the world here, okay? That you're sending off, you're going to find the love within yourself, okay? Maybe in the past, someone wasn't giving you the love that you deserve, but I'm, you know, you're going to go past that. You're going to give yourself that love, give yourself that peace. And it's really going to help you renew yourself and give more energy to what you're doing in your soul's mission. Okay, and now I'm going to just pull one more for my dream deck. Oh my gosh. Okay, beautiful. Real, real fast. Real fast there. Real fast. Okay, Galactic Federation of Light. Oh my god, you guys. You star seeds out here. You beautiful beings. Let's see what Galactic Federation of Light says. Galactic Federation of Light has given me my cosmic sight to perceive of my divine birthright. A being of love come from the light. Mm, beautiful. So I think that Galactics really wants you to know that this can also have to do with getting more communication from them, opening up your crown chakra more, okay? I'm hearing that there's going to be a lot of downloads during this new moon. So making sure that you are connecting with your and your guides your spirit guides those light beings that are guiding you because they're coming in strong in this reading okay group one and they definitely want you to know that they are here for you they are guiding you they want to, you to know that they really really you have infinite possibilities don't let something in the past hold you back any longer um you know and they're you know ask for signs ask them to show you signs of where you know in the past you can um, need to acknowledge need to heal need to you know move on from and they will show it absolutely really beautiful reading okay we're going to just we're gonna just pull out a focused deck okay i think that that will be that okay so group one you guys got change okay and this is the last card for today and change says to find the things that serve me wrong and change the tides to a glorious song knowing that you've righted your wrongs and now your new days are filled with glorious songs Ooh, prepare for a change, group one. This new moon is bringing you a big change, okay? Something in your physical reality, something that you've been wanting to physically manifest, you are going to see those mental limiting beliefs and you're going to be able to renew them. You're gonna be able to move forward from them, okay? You're going to be closing a cycle from the past. So really get excited because I'm hearing the possibilities are infinite for you. The world is your oyster, okay? You have your angels, the galactics. They're all looking out for you. So get ready for this big change, okay? So without further ado if you like that video and it resonated with you then press the thumbs up so i know so and can continue to make more videos like this one of course fam it has been real and i would love to know comment down below what parts of this resonated what su future suggestions you have for picket cards because i always appreciate those and love connecting to you guys that way and of course 
Of course. Let me know what you're doing for uh, to this new moon today, okay? I would love to know that as well. All right. I will see you in the next video. Hit subscribe if you haven't already to join the Good Vibes Delivery family officially. And fam, I will see you in the next video. Without further ado, let's go on to group number two. Hello, group two. How are you? Okay, so your beautiful card is the High Priestess, okay? So before we hop on anymore, I just wanted to know that this beautiful card I've drawn for my Major Arcana deck that I'm creating. Now, with the High Priestess, I'm also being called to tell you guys to work with Lapis Lazuli. Uh, lapis lazuli unfortunately i don't have any because i keep losing all the ones i get but i do have clear quartz and that is another beautiful crystal that they're saying that you should also work with so i'll set the intention that my clear quartz will go to yours and you know if you have lapis lazuli we'll just amplify that okay so without further ado let's hop into it okay so with the high priestess i'm getting that you guys are being divinely nurtured during this time, but also you might be doing a lot of nurturing yourself, okay? So there's a lot of healing taking place. Now, let's see what we got in the deck. I just want to hop right into it, okay, to see what this new moon in Leo has in store for you, okay, fam? Again, this is super duper exciting because... I just feel like there's so much power behind this new moon and the energies. Um, such a powerful time for transformation. Whew. Okay, so you guys are hopping out as the King of Swords. Really beautiful energy. Okay, so I'm definitely seeing that you guys are... I'm hearing you guys are in your heads. Um, is that a bad thing or a good thing? Someone said, <laughs> but it's a, it's a good thing. Okay. It's a good thing. It's, it's upright. It's a good thing. Okay. I'm hearing that for some of you, communication is important during this time. Maybe you are networking a lot, um, or networking can help you a lot, but really refining certain connections, getting clear on your goals and communicating and expressing them, very important during this time. And also taking all the space you need will be important. Okay, thank you. So there seems to be almost like a battle between you and the, the laws of the universe. I don't know why I'm saying battle, but maybe I'll see. Maybe I'll see more. Okay. Well, I said battle, so let's look at this if it's an actual battle. So, you guys are the King of Swords. You came out as the King of Swords, so you are, you know, you're mentally really on point right now. You might be in your head a little bit more than usual. You might be a little bit more sharper with your tongue. You might need a little bit more space than usual as well. There's um, a calling for you guys to be really clear on your communication, especially with the universe, okay? We have the High Priestess that jumped out. And the universe wants you to know that some of the, you guys also, mm, I'm just getting an epiphany that you might be studying a lot about the laws of the universe during this time as well. You might be getting some information from someone that you look up to, okay? Um, but more importantly, there is almost like you're analyzing the laws of the universe thus far. I'm definitely getting that you guys might be um, figuring out how you can get your manifestation, like you're making a game plan for your manifestation to come through, okay? Or during this time, during the new moon, it's really vital for you guys to start thinking about a game plan. How are you gonna get your manifestation? How is it logically gonna come to you? But the universe also wants you to stray away from that with the Six of Swords. Maybe not be as logical as you have been, okay? You've been thinking about how to communicate to the universe, how to continue you know this connection with it and to honor it and it's beautiful for whatever reason though it's almost like the universe wants you to stop planning so much it wants you to um stop analyzing all the laws of the universe and it wants you to avert your 
attention and your mindset away from that with the six of swords being in reverse um I'm just, I don't know why, but I'm just like the other group got a six as well. So six could be very significant during this time, but there's a five and then a six. So this is actually like a progression for you guys and another five. Okay. So, all right. I stand by what I said. The back of deck energy for you, my friend, is a five of rods in reverse. Okay. So let me just... So with the five of rods being in reverse, I'm almost getting like you are calming down the drama in your life. There might be a lot happening and again with the networking, there might just be a lot of people pulling your attention in one way or the other, trying to get you to talk or communicate or um, maybe explain more about the laws of the universe. But when it comes to this new moon, <laughs> I think that the main message is that you're going to get a lot more clarity on how the laws of the universe work. And a part of this is almost like surrendering um, this analytical mind, thinking about the rules and the laws and how this works and the law of attraction. And you know, your thoughts attract. I'm, I'm getting for you group too, surprisingly enough, like there's almost uh, benefit from averting away from thinking about this so much there's almost like a I'm not gonna say your guard is up because you just are pursuing this um, so much Oh, I'm almost getting like you guys are the rebels though like the universe will give you the rules and you'll be like no that's not how it works this is how it works. I don't know why I'm getting that, but for some of you, there's definitely going to be a shift in your mindset, okay? You might be thinking that certain ways that the world works, this is how it is, and for some of you, you'll be refining your understanding of how the universe works for you. Definitely with the five of rods being in reverse, I think there's a calling for you to surrender, okay? Um, surrender, surrender, surrender. Um, you know, with the five of rods being in reverse, that's a beautiful card to get. And, you know, the five on the Hierophant and the five of rods are really pulling me together, pulling me together. I'm almost seeing that as if this, uh, this authoritarian figure is telling them to settle down and all of those kind of crazy, you know, the fighting and the crazy chaotic situation that's happening, it just, they turn to bow down and just pray. For some of you, I'm hearing praying is going to be very powerful during this time. If you have a chaotic situation or drama happening in your life, know that it is going to release and it's going to flee from you, um, but you need to surrender certain thoughts that you're having, okay? You might need to also... I'm getting for some of you, you might need to direct your thoughts towards how the universe works, okay? And actually research that more, okay? So, by research that, I, I mean, you know, you can go on the internet and Google it, or you could just ask your spirit guides in the universe to reveal to you what you need to know. So, there definitely seems to be like a, a surrender for you guys. I'm getting that, you know, the, the universe wants you to know that everything is under control. You might be wondering, like, how is this all working? They want you to avert your, avert or bring your attention to a game plan, okay? So the new moon is a really important time for you guys to kind of think how you're going to pursue your manifestation, how you can implement the laws of the universe. Um... But also making sure that you're communicating clearly with the world, you know, the universe. Um, I keep saying the universe, okay? And I'm just going to keep saying it because too far gone now, all right? But <laughs> there's definitely a calling for surrender. I'm going to be pulling out some more cards just to see. 
Yeah, there's there's a calling for surrender if you're a little worried about what's going on. I'm hearing for some of you, you've thought about it, you've analyzed it, you have done all of the things that you can do, okay, mentally. You need to fall away at this time, okay? That is how you're going to progress. You need to fall away, you need to trust the things that you have been taught. Um, I know, that's crazy. You need to trust. You need to trust in the universe, okay? You need to pray if you're having any worries about this. But during this new moon, it's going to be a very powerful time where you will be understanding more about how your universe works, okay? And there is a calling for surrender. There's a calling for you to drop the drama in your life. There's a calling for you if you've been a little angry. The universe is saying, hey, do you see all of that drama over there? avert away from it, okay? Look over here to what you actually want, okay? I want, you know, I really want to say that the way things are laid out right now, you are going away from the drama. You're going away from the drama and more into a streamlined, defined way, okay? And for some of you, this could be with your passions, you know? You're too scattered with your passions. Universe is taking that mindset bringing it closer, honing on in it so that you can actually plan and logically figure out what you're gonna do and then allow yourself to just surrender and trust the universe, okay? Your game plan might not be the end all be all. It might not have every single aspect in it, but allow yourself to trust and know that there is a higher power that is working through drastic changes and you can't always plan out for everything. So. With that being said, I pulled out a card from my overall deck messages to just get some further guidance and clarification. And you guys got Blooming Folds. And Blooming Folds says, The ocean can't hold your flower now, it's overgrown. Have you forgotten the seeds you've sown? How splendid it is in all of its glory, the perfect fit for your story. Out of the depths of the deep blue sea lies a seed that has grown for me. Mmm, and I'm almost getting like with the six of swords, okay, with that water imagery that you guys are going towards maybe that seed that you planted, that manifestation you've been harboring, okay? It's coming into fruition and the universe is going to give you further instructions on now how to really receive it, okay? So you might want to that's where you're averting all of the scattered energy. You're averting it and you're streamlining it into words. That beautiful blooming manifestation that's coming towards you. Okay, so I'm gonna get a deck for my um, spirit guides deck. So let's see what we got here. We could get a card for beautiful book two. It's a lot of cards, but thank you. Okay, so you guys got dance. <laughs> so the spirit guides really want you to know that moving your body and maybe, right now you might be in your head a lot, but maybe using that mental energy towards a more physical activity such as dancing is beneficial. Dance says, I sway from foot to foot, bring my line to rhythmic rhyme, arise, decline, I step in time of the divine dance of creation. Beautiful. Ooh, there is a calling for you to trust a divine, to dance with it, to have a little bit more fun, okay? You might have been a little uh, bit too focused and a bit too rigid. And right now they want you to have fun. They want you to understand that, you know, the ebbs and flows of the creation, you know, it's going to go up, it's going to go down. But to dance with the divine as it is helping you create your dream manifestation. So, and even dancing with, I'm hearing, dancing with the drama or the chaos that was happening in your life or your passions, dancing with it or being playful with it, surrendering and just allowing yourself to be a little bit more loose is going to help you because I'm really getting that, you know, your manifestation is, you're going to get downloads on how to attain it, okay, during this time of the new moon. So making sure that you're just being playful and having fun, not thinking about it too seriously or thinking I gotta do step one, two, three, just allowing yourself to trust the divine is going to help. Okay, so 
we have from my dream dream um uh, dream landscapes deck okay i can't remember the full name we have seeing value and seeing value says what you did not see is now in front of your eyes it's exactly what you thought no surprise you are aware of your worth grounded in love you have risen from the dead sea now expressing self from up above beautiful so seeing value is really prompting you guys to not only see your own value and again with the six of swords again with the sea imagery okay and i i just see see <laughs> i'm not doing this on purpose but these puns beautiful okay so there's really a calling maybe even working with going to the water this new moon can be very beautiful and powerful for you guys but really 